Hi, this is Hot Rod at Transformers Ireland Online doing a review of the 2007 uh, Leader Class Movie Brawl. Um, I had the deluxe and uh, at Christmas I got this as a present off my kiddo, um, which was fantastic because he was kind of becoming hard to get. Um, he since has come back into stock at Model Maniacs um, and uh, this to me is, is a defini definitive purchase of that toy, of that character anyway. Um, he's a an, an Abrams tank, um, which was similar to the G2 Megatron. Um, a lot of people say that you know a lot of the characters don't look like the characters. I I think that this looks like G1 Brawl when it's in robot mode. You know, it's movieified, okay, but it, I still think it looks like the 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 character from the from the Combaticons. I I don't understand why people complain about it, but. That's a little side thing, anyway. Um, he's a really, really quite big, as you can see. Um, he's got quite a lot of detail on him. Um, you know, the the camouflage um, on the base color, which is the army green, and then the camouflage is kind of a, a, a darker sort of grey green. Um, the treads are black. Um, he's got this pack at the back, which is uh, black also. Uh, a gun up top, which is black. Two translucent clear um, missile launchers on either side of the, t the smaller uh, turret. And um, the kind of scoops at the front are, uh, are grey plastic. Um, with these two lights that are plastic as well. Uh, the very tip of it is uh, clear plastic as well. Um, and that's it really. Um, you know, it, the rollability ain't too functional even though there are wheels underneath. Um, Maybe I haven't got it transformed correctly. I don't know, but it's you know he's not doing much there. Uh, the turret turns, and the cannon moves up and down. When you push down on it, it makes uh, cannon noise. And whoops, it makes a cannon noise, and the uh, the very end of the barrel lights up. Also, these guys turn. They light up as well. This smaller turret turns independently. And the cannons also light up green. I don't know if that's coming up there. But you can turn it all out and in. And when you leave it fixed, it, it makes that noise. It makes that noise throughout the transformation, pretty much. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. This is kind of him. Um, very cool, very detailed, very, very heavy. Um, a strange... Uh, choice for the for the leader class uh, movie figures from 2007. Uh, we had Prime and Megatron, and this guy I thought was strange. But when you put him next to the likes of Jazz or whatever, it's you know it makes sense. He's kind of in scale with Jazz and that. Um, and that's about it, really. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll transform him now. Um, he's big, he's kind of tough to transform in certain places, um, it's all about moving things at the right time, etc. Um, but he's quite, you know, he's quite immense, uh, he's just kind of tall and it really does him justice. It kind of makes sense when you have him in robot mode that this is why they did him in leader class. Uh, he's just big and badass looking. Um, he also has a couple of little kind of gadgety bits on him as well. Uh, obviously the cannon is there. This is very kind of um, Armada Megatron, and it's still you can still push it to get the uh, the noise and the and the lights going. 
he's got a little, uh, he's got two wrist gauntlets, one here, extends cannons, and the other one here, when you push it back, should extend the blades, it was working earlier, it's a little bit fussy, but there you go, it, ex it extends these blades, um, which I don't remember seeing them with in the movie, but I'm sure they were there, there was so much going on. And the fingers are individually jointed there. Uh, they don't bend at the knuckles, but you can, you know, you can move them out like that. And they're kind of suitably creepy. Um, the arms can move, and you can do that sort of thing, make them really cool looking. Um, and his missile launchers are over his shoulders, as you can see there. So that's kind of really cool about him. The, his head moves up and down a little bit, left and right. It's restricted a bit because his head is so bulky. Just lock that back in place. Um, unfortunately, the only kind of real downside is the legs. Um, the, the kind of a ass end of the tank. I assure you, he is sturdy. Just bear with me there. The kind of ass end of the tank here, um, all these bits clip in and they're supposed to lock in place. Um, they're a little bit kind of uh, flimsy as you can see and they do restrict the movement of his legs so you kind of basically have to have him sort of stood up um, but he is he's just really really cool I, I highly recommend him I mean the leg thing is not a big deal um, he's just such a cool looking toy like I would, I would almost put this in with Masterpiece if, if they could give it a little bit more movement uh, maybe some midsection kind of um, if you could twist the midsection he's got no movement in his midsection at all so you can't really twist the, the kind of waist or anything like that but he's just really 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 kick ass figure really tall really imposing really pissed off looking and um, definitely definitely worth picking up it makes the deluxe version if you have it throw it away give it to a kid go out and buy this this is the definitive brawl for the movie He's just pure win, absolutely pure win, and he looks great next to uh, he looks great next to the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. Oh, oh, there's going to be a throwdown. You can just see it. Um, so he's just he's really really cool. I'd highly recommend him. The leg restriction is a bit of a pain in the ass, pain in the ass with having these tank bits here. Um, but that being said, I'd still give him a high score. He's definitely like a 4.5 out of 5. Um, just very, 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 very cool. He's got all these little gadgets and little bits and pieces on him. Um, he's just really, really kick-ass figure. Um, he does have these little blades here at the front, uh, which I haven't worked out how to get out yet. Um, they're supposed to pop down, but I don't. I can't understand what point they'd be anyway. Um, but he's just very, 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 very cool figure. Definitely must have. And as I said, Model Maniacs has just gotten a load of them in back in stock. So, you know, if you want one or if you were deliberating whether to get one, this guy is great. This guy is absolutely great. Worth every penny that he's going to cost you to get him. So, I highly recommend him. All right, cheers. Bye.